Hi, my name is Chris Larkin. I'm a DSO and ARO, also, uh, also known as designated school official and alternate responsible officer, uh, international student advisor at Texas A&M University. I'm going to talk a little bit about CVIS and uh, if you've probably wondering what this is and what is, what is CVIS, uh, it's kind of the magic database for international students. CVIS actually stands for Student Exchange Visitor Information System. Uh, and it is the database for SEVP, the Student Exchange Visitor Program. And that's the government bureaucracy that monitors all uh, F1 and J1 students. Uh, and or F1 and J1 visas, I should say. And CVIS is the database where all of that information is kept. And that database is actually what generates and uh, updates your I-20. And so when we, for example, when we issue you a new I-20 for your uh, for your visa interview, we input all that information in CBIS and the uh, consulate or embassy uh, and officers are able to see your information in that system. So all your important information, where you live, what your degree program is, um, and uh, where your home country is, what your major is, all of that is in CBIS. And when you eventually apply for uh, CPT, Curriculum Practical Training, which is uh, work while you are um, a student, or OPT, which is work after graduation, usually, uh, all of that information um, is kept in Decebus. And when we input that information and we print you out a new I-20, it shows um, all that information. And so it's really, really important um, to, when anything changes, whether you move, uh, you get a new job on your OPT, or you get a new job on your CPT, that you notify an international student advisor, um, and they can update that information um, immediately. Because if I, um, ICE, um, ever comes and to your work site and they notice that oh you're working in a different place than what's in the database there there could be some problems so it's really good and it's a really good practice that whenever things change and if you're not sure whether you should report it or not always be on the safe side and report it and if we need to update the information we will and if we don't we won't